It's true. When you're a young artist and you're trying to make it, and, uh, you know, the documentary really brought it home for me. This guy, uh, Frank DeLeo, we're talking about, was Michael Jackson's manager. He had the hots for you. These guys, they're such bullies. They, they know how to manipulate situations, whether it's with men or women. They know how to zero in on your weaknesses. And, you know, you were strong enough to say no. You could see where a lot of women would say yes because they just, you, you, want, you want to be successful and you start to buy the dream. Mm. And that's probably the most heartbreaking thing. I was pretty um, disappointed with the, the idea that, you know, I grew up in the Midwest. My parents really, you know, Puritan work ethic. You work hard. You're a nice person. Put one foot in front of the other. And I just thought that that was, I thought good things would happen. You would think after you did that tour with Michael Jackson. Right. You've arrived. Like, wow, you're you're performing in front of millions of people. You're performing Michael Jackson. There's rumors that you're dating him and all this stuff. I saw this in the documentary. It's so Got great. Got paid $2 million dollars to have his baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you were the girl who was with Michael Jackson, which they probably put out to make oh, him I'm seem sure. like he was, Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure it was planted. Yeah. But after that tour was over, you went back to your waitressing job. Yeah. Like, that's the reality of show business. It's such a crazy scene. That whole people, thing, though, I mean, you know, um, well, there's a whole backstory to that with having his manager take that notoriety that I was accruing and, you know, trying to architect some some pop career around me. And I didn't want to be a pop star. And then the sexual harassment was involved in all that. And then the threat of you're never going to work and my going home and putting bands together and playing my music and having everybody in the industry say, well, we don't know what to do with a blue eyed soul singer or, or, you know, I got a ton of excuses and I just felt like it was all tied together. Like the word was out, Frank had sabotaged me. And also there wasn't, you know, it was Lisa Lisa and the cult jam and Madonna and Paul Abdul. And I came off the Jackson tour and I wasn't that. And I eventually went through the money and got waiting, you know, waiter jobs and went back to what I was doing before. And it was, it was, it was tough. It was really tough. I mean, it's tough coming off the road and just sinking back into your own life, no matter what. But that was, that was some other kind of tough.